Hank, you were in Huntington County. It could have turned into a real tragedy, somewhat of a happy ending, and now the family's talking about safety. Bill, it's the horror of what could have been and almost was. And we would have come down thinking, well, what did she do? As you said, run into the woods? We would have been out looking in the street. You mean calling her? Abby, yeah. Beautiful little girl, four years old, Abby, playing ball at a cousin's house in Tewksbury last Sunday. She stepped on a loose septic tank cover in the yard and plunged in. She just stepped on it. I saw the lid fly up, her drop down, so I ran down here as fast as I could. And I didn't even hear her go in. It was just very silent. She was very panicked when she was in there, still splashing around, but she wasn't screaming. Um, her mouth was underwater at that point. Uh, that's Abby's cousin, Michael, uh, Bill, uh, the one who saw her disappear, the one who reached deep into that smelly old tank and pulled the little girl out. And so if you can only imagine, this is what little Abby saw when she looked up and saw her cousin Michael come to her rescue. We, so you just basically laid down and reached down there. What'd you grab her by? You're by the collar and arm? Yeah. That's, that's the only thing I could grab. I just grabbed her arm and I pulled as hard as I could and just, you know, bear hugged her almost. So this shower is where Abby was brought immediately after Michael rescued her. She was filthy, obviously. She needed to be showered off. Come to find out she was hanging on to this little orange ball the whole time. She never let it go. They call it the miracle ball. Now, Bill, Michael says he's relived the incident a thousand times a day since it happened. He can't get it out of its head. And everyone's crazy grateful that the story has a happy ending, but they want to put the word out. Check your yard. We don't make it our business as homeowners to know everything. We all try to be safe. This is one thing that was under our radar. And all we want to do is put it on the radar and maybe it'll help. There are hundreds, not thousands, of these septic tanks either being used now or were used before. Is there some sort of law, some sort of rule that you have to keep them covered? Well, I checked with the CDC just for facts on septic tanks, and they said that any inspection ports or sealed manholes, they should be secured just to prevent excess water from getting in the tank. But are people aware that they have a septic tank either currently active or one that may have been covered? See, that's the thing. I did this story and I went home to the wife and said to her, "Hun, where is our septic tank? And she goes, Hank, we're on the city sewer. We don't have a septic tank. I'm not a genius. I'm not stupid. No. But I don't know a whole <laughs> lot about, like, necessarily my own house or whatever. And I'd be willing to bet there's others out there who just really don't even know if they've got a tank in their yard or not. There's companies out there that sell items called kid catchers that actually sit under the lid that you can screw in where the air can still get in. They mentioned the kids catcher and they will probably have one installed, but they got the lid sealed down so hard that I doubt it'll be an issue anymore. Glad this one at least had a happy ending.